Hey, how's it going everyone? Outlaw Client here, back again this week with some Dragon Ball Fighters news, alongside some footage of the open beta that was held last weekend, which thankfully I managed to record the first half, since I didn't know of the server madness that was about to happen the next day. But at that point I was still trying to learn all the different moves for each character, so I won't exactly be winning any tournaments anytime soon, but I did have a basic grasp of the controls, so the video footage should be still entertaining enough for you guys to watch. So in the latest issue of the V-Jump magazine, Android 21 has been confirmed as a playable character, and this is a character that was previously um, known to play an integral role into the story, into the main story, but at that point it was still unknown whether she would actually be play playable or not. So reading further on in the magazine, it mentions that Android 21 well, not only will you get to play as her, but you also play in a brand new, never seen before form, uh, which is known as the Margin form. Well, a form very similar to Margin Blue, at least. And it doesn't stop there. She also has the ability to absorb energies from her, from her opponents. And when she does so, she'll be able to use some of their special moves. So, one of the examples that they gave was that she could use a Kamehameha, alongside another one, which, show, which was shown to be Krillin's uh, Solar Flare. And her individual stats are Ease of Use A, Power B, Speed A, Reach S, Technique S, and Energy B. And that's the end of most of the key information given, or at least the officially announced information. Now, first up I want to say, I have a ton of questions still. A lot of things have gone unanswered there. I mean, what is the extent of her energy uh, stealing abilities? I mean, how, how many other moves can she take? Can she take other super moves? Can she... Um, as I mentioned, I, I speculated that maybe she'll have like some quarter circle forward and back special moves from opponents, but that's another huge question that needs to be answered. Another huge question as well is how can we unlock her? I mean, uh, with Goku Super Saiyan Blue and Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue, I believe those are unlocked through finishing the story mode, although it's not officially com confirmed, but how is Android 21 unlocked, especially in her margin form of course? have to finish the story mode like Goku and Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue? I mean if I had to guess I'd probably say that you'd have to finish the story mode because she sounds like a or she's stated to be an integral part of the story mode. So I can imagine that being the final boss. Not 100% sure but it's just my best bet. But what do you guys think? Are you interested in Android 21? Will you be adding her to your team? I mean me personally I'm always happy to see a uh, fresh new character. I mean, I, that was one of my biggest uh, things that I wanted. I wanted to see at least one or two new characters in Fighters because, of course, we have all the uh, standard cast, you know, Goku, Vegeta, we can't do without them. But I did want to see a few uh, original characters. And I mean, not only is she an original character, but she's also a waifu as well. I mean, if, if that's not a bonus, I don't know what is. But anyway, apart from a few screen caps, no official gameplay has been released yet. So, again, we'll have to do a bit more waiting. Uh, Fighters was just around the corner, I believe it's like next week, Friday for most people. So we'll find out very soon, especially once we finish the story mode. We'll be able to uh, give a, a better breakdown and who knows, I'll probably be looking at this thinking, what was I thinking? You know, you didn't unlock her that way, it was a complete different way. But anyway, that's all I have for now on Android 21. Now another thing that I wanted to talk about is the actual gameplay of, the gameplay itself in F Dragon Ball Fighters, and I'm not too familiar with like Arxis's games, games like Guilty Gear and Blade Blue, and pretty much anime fighters in general, but if I had to talk about a game which it feels similar to, it's definitely like a Marvel, like a mixture between Marvel versus Capcom uh, 2 and 3, especially 3 in terms of like the control scheme since it has the standard light, medium, heavy and then a special attack, also with the same button layout as those games as well. The burst mechanic also acts sort of like an X factor, so the fewer characters you have remaining, the stronger it will be, the longer it will last, and also like how much health it will heal. I believe it will heal at a quicker rate. That's the blue health or potential damage. I'm not too sure what they call it in this game, but it will heal it just like that. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun, especially since I'm a huge Marvel vs. Capcom fan. So I'd say if you enjoy Marvel vs. Capcom, You'll definitely enjoy this game. I mean, this game is more Marvel vs. Capcom than Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I mean, how, how does that even happen? But anyways, so some of the new characters that I was playing during the beta was Nappa, uh, Beerus, and adult Go Gohan. Funnily enough, those were the characters that I was interested in. I know there's Goku Black and there's Hit that wasn't included in the demo, or sorry, the open beta. But I mean, I was most interested in trying out adult, adult Gohan, 
and Beerus especially, and alongside Nappa as well. I think Nappa has um, a really, well, he's really good as a setup character, which, uh, speak of the devil, is on the screen right now. So, at first when I saw him, I thought, oh, he's going to be like a Hulkin grappler, sort of similar to how Android 16 plays, but instead he's more of a setup character. So, I haven't found any decent setups right now. I mean, I really need a practice mode. There's, there's absolutely no practice mode in this beta, only like a like a trial mode I guess and it gives you preset characters it's Goku, Team Gohan and Krillin and I mean does anyone really want to play as Krillin seriously um yeah sorry no don't, don't kill me Krillin fans but no it would have been a nice feature to be able to uh, pick and select between all the characters that you want want to play as whereas in this mode you can only really play as them online but anyway uh, Nappa can actually plant Cybermen and he has three different versions so there's the light version, the medium version and then there's the, the heavy version which is acts like an enhanced move and that's another thing I should mention when you use the heavy versions it will actually use up a bar of meter if you have any remaining so just like you saw previously Nappa can set up the Cybermen and these Cybermen will come out and you know to be honest they don't last like for too long but I mean in, in fighting game length, it feels like a long time actually, even even though the Cybermen's on my team. Like, honestly, sometimes when it's on my team, it always seems like the setup just doesn't last long enough, but Nappa's one definitely feels like it lasts long enough, and it can be quite, you can you can get some quite nasty mix up there with, attack, uh, with them attacking on both sides. Think of someone like uh, Gargos from Killer Instinct, where you can summon his minions. But yeah, the Cybermen's act in a very similar way to that. Oh, and as, as you can see there, Go, Gohan making a quick comeback. Came in with Goku, my main character, and I had to take a Masenko Blast straight to the body. Nice. <laughs> I actually thought he was going to chip me out anyway, so I sort of went a bit crazy there, but... Anyways. But yeah, as I was saying, as Nappa, the Cybermen will come out for a few seconds, and then they'll shoot either Acid, if you use the medium one, or they'll just like use a slashing attack, which I believe is like an overhead as well if you use the light version and I believe the enhanced version I'm not too sure about the enhanced version I think they stay out a bit longer and maybe they're a bit more aggressive but I'm not sure I have to test that out once the full game comes out because I didn't get too much time with Nappa but really interesting character I didn't think I'd look forward to, I didn't think I'd enjoy playing as him as much as I did but he's probably gonna be on my main team now next up we have oh and of course how could I forget Kid Buu Kid Buu was also a new character added in the open beta but um, next up, I think I'll talk a bit about Gohan, because I think he's probably one of the best characters in the beta. Now, Gohan functions a bit differently. He has... Well, once well, once you use his unlock potential super, which is like quarter circle forward and uh, two attack buttons, I believe it's like light and medium, then he'll, un he'll unlock his potential or release his potential, and that will like level you up, and you can level up seven times, which is as high as the meter goes, you know, seven bars. But... Once he gets access to that, he once he, get, he get, one he gets like a machine gun uh, punch attack, which is quarter circle forward and special, I believe. And he also, well, by far the biggest thing. Well, I mean, he gets a damage increase, but by far the biggest thing for me has to be his ability to cancel his moves. Like you can cancel um, into moves which you never previously could. So you could do like a heavy and then cancel that into light and like a you know a, a light low. So. The opponents will be completely confused when they have to block and it's going to be very difficult to block him but again he takes up so much meter so you're going to have to like I don't know use him as an anchor character I guess so he'd probably be better around the middle or the back of your team where you've saved up a few bars but yeah definitely a character to watch out for in the full game it, well that's if they don't uh, nerf him or anything like that so yeah I, I look forward to using Gohan quite a lot as well now Kid Buu he actually seems like a really strong character as well he has arguably the best assist in this in this beta, especially in terms of uh, offense. Now he can throw out a piece of his body. I'm not sure the official name of it, but it, it will attack you multiple times. You might see it during the video, but it will attack you multiple times and lock down the opponent, so you can go in for some cross-ups or uh, maybe time it so that you can grab them straight after it ends. I don't know, but that has a lot of potential. Uh, his normals as well, especially his medium, has a long long range, so it's got like a kick that w sort of covers nearly half the screen it's a really good range on it and you can combo off with that as well so really strong and if you use the medium if you keep tapping the medium then you can do like an auto combo into a super which is quite devastating as well so another really strong character um, I already spoke about Nappa Beerus now Beerus was one of my favorite characters the one that I was looking forward to the most to players 
and Beerus seems like more of a mid-range character. He's able to um, put out put out balls on the screen. Uh, well, I, I don't know what, what I can call them. God of Destruction balls? Who knows? But, um, he puts out the balls on the screen. He can sort of control some space. So, uh, very, very powerful move, I guess. I mean, you can super dash through, but it's very, it was very powerful against opponents that kept on using a super dash. Oh, sorry, it kept on using Snap Vanish behind me. So, again, definitely another character that needs to be explored, and I really look forward to exploring him further when the full game's released. Anyway, that's all I have for today, so thanks a lot for watching guys, um, if you enjoyed this please leave a like and subscribe, and I will be covering some more Dragon Ball Fighters uh, uh, news updates if they release anything else, I mean we're only like a week away from its release so I'd be surprised, but I mean to be honest I was very surprised when they announced Android 21 because it's so close to re the release I thought oh they're all finished with the cast, but anyway as I said, thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you later, peace out. And I'm back. Did you miss me guys? Yeah, sorry about that, there was a slight delay in audio, I believe about 30 seconds, so I've finished the commentary about 30 seconds early. Um, yeah, I don't know if you heard me during the time when I was getting hit by Gohan's family coming at me, I mentioned the Masenko and how I, how I was down to Goku. Well, I was a bit behind there, so yeah, that was the reason why. But, um, what can I talk about? Oh yeah, so there's also like jump cancel mechanics when you're comboing in the air. So say if you throw out like a, a light and then medium, you can jump again and then throw out like say a light, medium and heavy. So it extends the combo for a bit of extra damage and I didn't know it at the time during this gameplay so yeah that's something to take note of. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys, I just managed to destroy Gohan, that's revenge for, you know, he thinks he can beat me up as a teen and run away, Just it's just not going to happen. But um, anyway. Thanks a lot for watching guys, um, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like, and s like, comment and subscribe and until then I'll see you next time, so peace out.